Hey, my loves. It's Love Bird here. Y'all, my allergies. I woke up and it's just all over the place. So, excuse my sniffles and my nose and my eyes watering. I got a lot going on this morning. Happy Meaningful Monday. Anyway, <laughs> I want to talk today about unmasking the fear. Unmasking the fear. Fear disguises itself in many forms. And I want to talk about two things today of how fear disguises itself. Fear disguises itself in procrastination and mediocrity. What does that mean? Fear disguises itself in procrastination. Let's deal with procrastination real quick. When you wait to the last minute to do something, you give yourself an excuse to fail before you even start. You give yourself a way out if it don't work. You can always fall back on the whole idea of, well, you know, I did wait to the last minute, so that's probably why that didn't work. But if you were to plan properly, and if you were to put your all into it and then fail, the only thing you would have to left to look to for the answer of failure is yourself. So procrastination gives us an excuse before we even start. That's fear crippling us, crippling your productivity. It cripples you. You literally lean on procrastination like a crutch. Take the mask off of your fear. Take the mask off of procrastination. Let's deal with mediocrity. You do something, but you don't give your all. You don't put your all into it. You don't go full throttle. You don't just put everything that you have into it, whatever your it is. It could be your job. It could be your family, your marriage. It could be your ministry. It could be your, a project. It could be a, writing a book. It could be a health journey. Whatever your it is, you halfway do it. You do it enough to say you're doing it. Like procrastination, you give yourself an excuse before you even finish. Procrastination gives you an excuse at the beginning. Mediocrity gives you an excuse at the end. I'm working. I'm doing. I'm not doing all that I need to do, but I'm doing. So at the end result, if you don't get what you want, if you don't receive what you were expecting, if the re return on your investment isn't as grand as you wanted it to be, well, you know, I tried. You lean on mediocrity as a crutch and it becomes your excuse of why you failed. It becomes an excuse. So I encourage you to take the mask off of fear. Don't procrastinate. And don't be mediocre. That's not who God has called you to be. You are exceptional. You operate in excellence at all times. And even if you think you have failed, know that all things work together for the good of them. Y'all, Romans, we say it all the time. We have to stand on it and we have to believe it. That even if I fail in my good moments, in my bad moments, in my ugly moments, it all equals good at the end. It all equals good. It's all for my good. If anything, I'm going to learn that much more about whatever I was trying to do. If anything, now I know what not to do next time. Now I have wisdom. And wisdom is always good to receive. In all that getting, get an understanding, right? So take the mask off of your fear. Don't wait for perfect timing. And don't halfway do the thing. Put your all into it. And see just how much you can accomplish. Because while you're worried about failure, you just might succeed. You just might get which, exactly what you asked for and more. You just might exceed your own expectations. It might take off faster than what you expected. You might take off it faster than what you were expected. So that's all I got for y'all. I love y'all. I hope you love me back. Like, comment, share, share, share this video. And don't forget to spread the love.